YouTube. Sorry, it's been a while since I've uh, made a video. Obviously, I've been really busy with work. That's why I haven't been able to bring you guys a video for the last uh, six to eight months. Really sorry about that. But um, I'm back. I'm back. And I thought I'd bring you guys my unboxing video today. Just got this bad boy in the mail. Tackle Warehouse from America. It's going to be awesome. Got a tub. Plastic tub here. Clear. As you can see. Got everything I get from the box. This box here. Into this tub. Let's get started. Trust the scissors. I would use my knife, but probably not a wise idea. Slice through. Here we go. Oh, probably shouldn't manually do that. Um, my order list. Everything's on there. Um, we'll go through it all. First off, we'll start off with this really cool Tackle Warehouse sticker. I really like this. I think that is absolutely incredible. I really do think that is something that I'm going to be putting on my yak or maybe my one of my tackle boxes. I might get a brand new tackle box. Um, so yeah, first off, start with that nice Tackle Warehouse sticker. Of, I think it's a bass. It is a bass. It's pretty cool. First off, we'll start with Reaction Innovation Sweet Beaver. These are going to be pretty cool to use I'm not going to lie guys um, probably going to be you know Texas rigging Texas rigging those um, and really hitting a bit of, uh, bit of timber timber and some weeds during spring and summer get some nice golden perch maybe some redfin on them and that's going to be really fun that color is spring break not the color that I actually thought on the website it actually was um, pretty much what it says is orange a spring break so I don't know what happened there these are purple but I guess I'll give it a go maybe in some darker water maybe that's going to be effective don't know yet next up Z-Man TRDs or big TRDs sorry um, these are great for um, rigging on the TT uh, networks so a nice little soil water presentation yes I know those are kind of big or pretty big there but I'm obviously going to cut them down. That color is mud blood, mud bug. Sorry, I'm thinking about Harry Potter for some stupid reason. Uh, mud bug. Um, so yeah, that's going to be good to use. I'm going to have to enjoy using those in some cold water applications for redfin. Next up, oh, I got some a bit of dust on me. Next up, yum dingers in the green pumpkin. Um, don't know much about yum stuff from Yum Ding, uh, about Yum Dings at all. Um, they say obviously you can use it for wacky rigs and what else have we got? Jig heads and drop shotting. So I might actually use that. I'll probably find some other reasons, other ways to use these. So I guess I'll give it a go. After that we have what looks like some torn packaging's a bit torn on this. But big bite baits, paddle tail swim minnows. Those are five inch. Uh, those are going to be good for uh, trailers on big spinner baits and maybe even Texas rigging those or just even just, um, EWG rigging those and flipping them around, throwing them into some timber, see if we can get a nice uh, big fish to come up and smack that. That's going to be fun. Next up, oh boy, guys, this is going to be good. Jackal flick shakes. These are absolutely incredible. I cannot talk highly enough about jackal stuff. Um, obviously, the tails in these are a little bit weird, but these are really good for slow water fishing. Um, cold, sorry, not slow water, cold water fishing. Um, there's not that much movement in the tail, so it's more like a very finessey bait. Um, again, with the TT Nedlocks, make these a really good bait for wintertime fishing when the bite really slows down. After that, we got some Aki U head finesse worm uh, worm jig heads, I think. So these would be like almost like shaky heads. These would be good for using on um, obviously worms and you know, some of those yum dingers as well. I put those aside because I got some stuff that I want to show you guys uh, to match with that. Next up, we got another pack of. Uh, the swim paddle tail uh, minnows. 
That's a four inch. That'd be good for Texas rigging. Oh, uh, AWG rigging. Uh, a little bit smaller, obviously, but I can probably still get good, some good fish on those. Come summer, give that a go. Some more Arkies. Can't wait to use those. That's going to be a bit exciting to use. Next up, Demiki Nail Sinkers. These are going to be great for um, Nico rigging. Um, so you obviously you throw that uh, one of these in the in the nose of a worm, and you stick the hook, and then you just you kind of work it, and the, the you know the worm will sit upright, sit the nose up, and you just you know wiggle it, and that tail will just go crazy, and fish will absolutely go crazy for that. So that's going to be fun to use. Oh wow, here we go, guys. Bias born exo sticks. These absolutely look incredible. I cannot wait. That is, I think, red bug color. Um, it's got a really nice rib. There's a really nice design on it. They're about five, I think about five inches. Um, you can use that on Texas rig, wacky rigs, um, drop shotting. I've seen some guys in, in the States use these for uh, drop shotting as well. And they've done really well on bass fishing. So... I'm hoping I'm have to cut this down just a little bit, but I'm hoping that they could work pretty well for me. So to give it a go, guys. I have to give it a go. Next up, Z-Man TRD tubes. Um, great little appendages on these to kind of flutter up and um, when you work them. Really good for like, just again cold water fishing or getting a little bit of um, a bit of movement in the water with your um, appendages. So yeah, it's gonna be fine. That color is. Canada Craw. That's Canada Craw right there. Next up, more Z Man Big TRDs. That's in Molten Craw. Those are going to be good again for Ned, Ned rigging, even Texas rigging. Some of those would be really good. And obviously, I didn't realize that I have the, the tag for the swim baits from before onto that. I must have um, ripped clean, but oh well. Ooh. I don't know what to say guys Strike King Bitsy Bugs These are absolutely incredible um, By first look I haven't actually used them yet um, Cannot wait to get one of these on I'll probably rig these with Maybe a crawl bait Like half a crawl um, Give me one second So I can pull it up I've got a stash this is some money bait crawls. I like to get them open. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut about there, half in the program, the profile, open these appendages up, stick that on one of these crawls, and that's going to be what works to catch good size in any redfin or any golden perch we'll have a go at this at some point I reckon during the spring and summer so I can't wait to get that on the water more bitsy bugs more bitsy bugs um, I really really do like these they're quite expensive here guys they're about 12 bucks 12 bucks a pack uh, 12 bucks each I think for a jig so um, obviously a little bit cheaper from the states I thought I might buy a couple it's because it makes more sense to have more than if I would lose one I'm not done with jig fishing until I get my next order so yeah another, another bitsy bug got a couple of these guys you gotta trust me on this one I really got a lot Ooh. zoom double ringers I don't actually know a lot about these zoom double rings at all. Um, my first look, they look quite incredible. I'll open open them up. They're ribbed, not like a pata rib, like they're ribbed all the way down. So I'm guessing that's going to be cool on a wacky rig. It's just going to really slowly work its way down the channel. Um, I'll move that back a bit. Slowly move that, move, move that down the channel a bit. It's going to be fun to use some of those on a wacky rig. Um, Ned rigging maybe. Um, Texas rigging possibly. 
Don't really know, but thought I'd buy some of these just because it's good to try new baits, guys. Sometimes the fish haven't seen what um, all these new profiles and all these new baits and stuff, so they might be a bit curious and have a go. Ooh. More yum dingers, those are in 5 inch. 5 inch, yep, 5 inch. Uh, Ozark Shadow, it's a really big bait. These, can't wait to get these, these actually feel really good. Um, still that, this was really, it's really nice looking uh, bait. Probably, you know, probably either Texas rig that, cut it down a bit, or wacky rig those. Um, drop shot them, maybe they're a little bit big for drop shotting, but you now let's cut them down, drop shot them, and see how we go. It's tough, guys. Z Man Chatterbait. I love my Z Man Chatterbaits. Um, caught recently, in the last month, I caught a 30, oh, 39.5, 39.7, maybe a 40 centimeter uh, redfin on one of these. Rigged with one of these bad boys. That's a trailer that is 3 8 ounce and that is in green pumpkin purple. That's my color to go to the most waterways around here. Ooh. Zoom finesse worms. Super salted plus in the watermelon magic. These look really cool guys. I mean that's just like that feel alone that actually feels quite heavy. So I'm guessing that's either just the bulk one, the bulk pack, or also the salt in that. It makes that feel like a lot heavier on the packet. Um, I'm guessing it'll probably weigh a bit more than people think. KVDs, perfect plastics, and the super fries. Those are going to be really good to use again on uh, wacky rigs, Texas rigs, drop shots. Um, these are really, I think they were super salted. You can just tell by just the, you can see about the packaging. I'm not sure it's picking up on the packaging there. But you can really see a lot of the, um, all the salt on that. So that's going to be fun to use some of those. More finesse worms. Yum, finesse worms. That is four inch green pumpkin. Again, it's going to be fun. Bought a couple of these just because I haven't tried worms before. I've seen guys use worms. Um, it's going to be fun to kind of give it a go and see if they actually work. If I can learn how to use them properly. Um, yeah, so just make that one of my one of my go-to baits at some point. More finesse worms. That is a watermelon seed. A very natural colour. I think that is four inch. Four inch. That's going to be really fun to use some of those in um, clear water applications. I think I already know where I want to use a pack of these because I know there's a pond um, about 15 minutes, 20 minutes down, down the road from my house, or down, not down the road, but 15, 20 minutes from my house. Um, it is crystal clear, like crystal, crystal clear when it doesn't rain. In some way, you can get a really, really, really natural presentation. And if this fish in there, which I don't know, it's quite a new pond, um, will do really well in terms of. Another pack of zoom worms, finesse worms, and 20 pack. That is green pumpkin. That's a really cool color. Um, not really much doing with the color. It's more like your brown, your standard brown color. Um, it's going to be fun to use those again. Um, got to find what I want to do with a lot of these. I might use these with these shaky heads. Uh, both these, all these worms with the shaky heads. Even Texas rigging them and see how they uh, perform. But yeah, that's pretty much it guys on this. And we got yum worms. I don't know why that that top is like that that is extremely weird. I have to contact uh, Tackle Warehouse because I don't know if this has been opened before and they're thrown in a pack of used worm uh, lizards sorry but those are young lizards in four inch green pumpkin those would be really good for uh, redfin maybe golden perch anything on like Texas rigging those wacky rigging them not wacky rigging them sorry Texas rig Carolina rig jig heads 
Um, it says the pass. Obviously, this is made for the US market, but it might be good for Redfin. Let's see how we go. And that is it, guys. That is all we have for today. Thank you for watching my video. Um, if you got any comments, um, chuck it down below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.